There's a book out uh, that I was telling you about uh, in the in the regular show uh, called Devil's Bargain, uh, written by uh, Bloomberg Business Week reporter Joshua Green. Uh, it talks about Steve Bannon, Donald Trump, the campaign, and in one part of the campaign, there's this uh, idea that Paul Ryan uh, was going to do a coup at the at the convention. So I remember covering this. Right, it wasn't that it was orchestrated by Ryan; it was orchestrated by the powers that be and they love Paul Ryan and they were gonna put him in instead of Trump. Now, if you guys remember me talking about it back then, I always thought that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, that's never gonna happen. Case it could have happened. They always talk about like, oh, what could happen at a convention? Look, that's from 1968, dude, to 1948. Right now, not a fucking thing can happen at a convention. So it's all just marketing, there's no, all that stuff that used to happen at a convention can't happen anymore. It's not in the bylaws anymore. Reporters drive me fucking crazy when they can't like realize what decade we're in. All, all, all you know what they say. Tip O'Neill said all politics is local. Yeah, in the 19 fucking 70s when there was no internet. <laughs> okay, wakey wakey. Anyway, so but apparently Bannon was legitimately concerned about it and then super pissed about it. Uh, and he hates the Republican establishment, which is not such a bad thing. I'll give Bannon that, right? And he's right. Uh, the establishment loves Paul Ryan, and he's their water boy. So there's two things I agree with Steve Bannon on. Interesting. Anyway, he called Paul Ryan a limp dick motherfucker <laughs> who was born in a petri dish at the Heritage Foundation. Uh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I had it last so time. It's so good. It's definitely the best thing Steve Bannon's ever said. All right.